What's yeah. that probable cause to search? You can stand there. What's the probable cause? My dog. Your dog? Yes. Stay Does right. he testify in court? Yeah, I can. Why don't you send your dog in there to get it? You can stand there. I know I can. You can stand there, but you're going to be quiet. Send your dog in there. Turn around. No. Turn around. Turn around and put your hands behind your back or this is going to get ugly. I'm sure you've been in this situation before, though, where somebody's just running their mouth and you're like, man, I just want to kidnap this dude and throw him in a dungeon. You know what I mean? No, not that. You know, I, I don't I don't think like that. It, you know, I guess I I'm probably everything. just a sick psychopath then maybe just for having thoughts like that. Possibly you think I should see a doctor about it or. I think I would recommend it. The following video was taken on Friday, June 17th, 2022 in Stark County, Indiana. The man recording noticed that the sheriff's department had initiated a traffic stop on his neighbor right outside of his house and began recording. He then went outside to continue recording and noticed that one of the deputies was searching the vehicle. While the camera footage isn't that great, you hear everything that you need to hear in the audio. Say he can do that? What's that probable cause to search? You can stand there. What's the probable cause? My dog. Your dog? Yes. Stay Does right. he testify in court? Yeah, I can. Yes, this cop really just told the cameraman that his dog told him he could search the vehicle and that his dog can testify in court. What's the probable cause? My dog. Your dog? Yes. Stay Does right. he testify in court? Yeah, I can. Can he really? Yep. You know, you can always rescind your uh, permission if you gave it. Notice that the man recording is in his own yard, on his own private property. Why don't you send your dog in there to get it? Sir? Why don't you send your dog in there to get it? You can stand there. I know I can. You can stand there, but you're going to be quiet. No, okay? I don't have to be yes, quiet. You will be. No, I don't have to be. You will be. No. <laughs> no, I won't. Imagine that. The police think that just because they're violating somebody's rights right now, nobody is allowed to speak? I'll bet you anything if the neighbors were out in their front yard talking about last night's football game, the police wouldn't have any problem with their speech. The problem is that the particular speech the cameraman is using triggers the cop's ego. So why don't you send your dog in there to get it? Sir, that's two times I've asked you to be quiet now. I won't I don't have to be quiet. To me. You do. I'm asking no, you. No, I don't. Disorderly conduct. You the understand the First states, Amendment? The statute states. Why don't you just do your job? Reasonable noise. Do your job. After being told not to do so, okay? No, that's, bull, that's bullshit. No, it's not. No, it is. It's bullshit. Look it up. It's disorderly pure conduct. bullshit. I'm not going to tell you. I can't you. be. I will not tell you. I can't a third be disorderly time. on my own property. Yes, you can. And no, I will I not can't. tell you a third time. That's it. I don't think that I've seen a constitutional disorderly conduct statute anywhere yet, but Indiana's is one of the most vague and dangerously unconstitutional I've seen. It does state that anyone who makes unreasonable noise and continues to do so after being asked to stop is guilty of disorderly conduct. But who decides what type of noise is reasonable and what type is unreasonable? Certainly these cops can't decide what's reasonable or unreasonable. We just heard one of them say that his dog talks to him and testifies in court. And that's the problem with disorderly conduct statutes and why it's the go-to for a cop to arrest you anytime you do or say something that they don't personally like. I just hope people don't start defending themselves against unlawful attacks from badged thugs. Send your dog in there. Turn around. No. Turn around. Turn around and put your hands behind your back or this is going to get ugly. I'm going to put your phone in your pocket. I'll put it in my pocket. I'm going to put your phone in your pocket. Let go of the phone. No. Let go of the phone. Let go of the phone if you're You're going to jail for disorderly conduct. You guys make shit up. You're making it up. What's your name? I fuck you. What is your name? I'm on my own property. You're parked in my yard. You're I, trespassing. I'm parked on the road, sir. She isn't. And you pulled her over. Come on. 
Good to learn. Have a seat. Indiana, AFC, yeah. Everybody, have, have a seat. seat. Have a seat, sir. Yeah. Have a seat, sir. Can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. My leg there. Yeah. Have a seat. Are you wearing a belt? Fuck you! Get away from me! Stop. What is that poking out of your waist? What's this right here? That's your penis. All right. What is that poking out of your waist? Just your drawstring. Okay. Relax. You're violating every right I own. Relax. I'm gonna buckle you in. Okay. Screw you. Ed, these are too fucking tight, man. Sir? I can't relax, sir. I cannot relax with my hands like this. Turn and face your back towards me, and I'll try to loosen them a little bit. Free to go? Not yet. Is she free to go? You're not paying any attention to her. I absolutely no am. I absolutely am. No, you're not. Ow! God. Sir, do you want me to loosen these? Yes. Okay. They have to do it. Well, I can't really make them any more loose. You than can that. take them off. I'm not taking them off. I'm not doing off. anything wrong. You're the one who's face, being face, illegal. Face right away now. from me, please. I'm going to buckle you. Face away from me, please. Face that way, please. Just your face, sir. Not turn your body. Just your face. Just your face. Just. God damn it! I can't move my arm. Okay. That's right. According to the Stark County Sheriff's Department in Indiana, the words "send your dog in there" constitutes disorderly conduct. Send your dog in there. Turn around. No. Turn around. Turn around and put your hands behind your back, or this is going to get ugly. Dispatch. Hi, dispatch. How you doing? I'm good. Good. Hey, um, can uh, can you get a deputy to call me uh, so I can ask him some questions about what I can do uh, to, to deal with someone in my community? This is James. Yeah, this is Officer Bowley. What can I do for you? Hey, Officer Bowley. How you doing this afternoon? Good, good. Good. Hey, I got some questions about what I can and can't do with a pesky neighbor bugging me. Okay. So I, I was out at the park the other day uh, with my kids. And uh, we were throwing a ball, and the ball got stuck in the bushes. And this guy tells me, send your dog in there to get it. Right? And, uh, okay. and that annoyed me. Can I, can I do anything to him for that? No, not really. Is that kind of... Not that I know of. Okay, so he can just stand there and keep saying, send your dog in there to get it? What? My question is, what's wrong with that? I, it just it, bugged me. It just annoyed me. You know, I was like, dude, my dog doesn't retrieve balls. Like, why, 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 why you keep telling me to send my dog in there to get it? I told him, I told him, don't say that anymore. And then he said it again. Is that like disorderly? Like... No, that's not. Dude. That's only if you, if an officer tells you to be quiet. Oh, if an officer tells you to be quiet, you have to be quiet. But if somebody else tells you to, it's not. Yeah, that's freedom of speech. Oh, okay. So no freedom of speech when cops are around, but no, that's that's not that's not what it is. Because when you're con as a police officer, when you're conducting actual business, mm -hmm. when that when because they they are not free to leave when you're talking to them. So their Fourth Amendment right is temporarily suspended. The, so the their, goal is their right to is, be free from searches and seizures. All, all, it's all in with that. <laughs> so it's the officer's goal to hurry up and be able to let everybody leave instead of holding them against their will. Okay, so everybody in the whole neighborhood has to stop talking when the police are around? No, no. Huh. Where, where do you live at? Uh, well, I live in uh, Texas. But uh, I come out quite often to uh, throw the ball around and uh, get it stuck where, in the bushes. Where is that at? What do you mean? Where Where do I get the ball stuck? Yeah. What neighbors? Uh... Oh, I don't. I don't even know the guy. You know. I was like, yeah, why? Where, why you? Where does he live? I have no idea. We were out at the park, man. I, I don't even never oh. never met this guy. Never seen him before. And oh. you know. He kept saying, "Send the dog in," and I was like, "Well, that makes me mad." And so I thought about beating the shit out of him. Send your dog in there. Turn around. No. Turn around. Turn around and put your hands behind your back or this is going to get ugly. Should I have done that or? 
Well, if you do that, you, 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 I will take you to jail for that. Okay, so assaulting somebody for free speech is wrong. Yes. Okay. Assault period is wrong. Yes. Okay. And what do you what do you call it when you beat somebody up? And what is the statute in Indiana? Is it, is that assault? Is it battery? What do you guys call it? It it depends on to what extent it goes. Okay. Ass, assault is simply touching them. Okay. All right. Battery is when you hit somebody. Okay. Yeah, because it changes the statutes change state to state. I was in New Mexico at one time. I looked it up and battery is is unwanted touching but it doesn't necessarily exactly. mean you hurt anyone but i know exactly. it changes state to state yeah um, the battery is an unwanted touch assault and battery is when you hit somebody okay now you've assaulted them what if he pissed me off so much that i took him and just like strapped him up threw, tossed him in my car and brought him to my house and put him in the basement you know what would happen okay so that'd probably be pretty bad. How many charges do you think there'd be for that? Oh, I, that, it's hard telling. It, it, it all depends. It, it's, that's hypothetical. It just, that, you know, that part of it. Cool. I'm just trying to see how many charges I might rack up doing that. Probably kidnapping, assault, battery, false imprisonment, right? I mean, I'd probably be looking at quite a few felonies at least, right? It, it, a lot of it just depends on the circumstances. Okay. But yeah, there there would definitely be some felonies involved. All right. But it, most likely I'd end up in trouble if I go out there to the park again and this guy happens to be there telling me, send your dog in. Send your dog in there. Turn around. No. Turn around. Turn around and put your hands behind your back or this is going to get ugly. And I go and, you know, get my buddy. We strap him up. We throw him in the back of the car and we take him to the basement. We'd probably get in trouble, right? Uh, un unfortunately, yes. Okay. You know, but I, I just have to, you know, strongly advise not. What if we only kept him there for like 48 hours? Like, we're not trying to take him indefinitely. We just want him to think about what he's done, you know, by running his mouth. And we just keep him for 24 hours and then let him, or sorry, 48 hours and then let him go. Well, according according to the statute, if you move him from the location of where where they were say abducted if you if you moved them from that location that's where the kidnapping charge comes in if okay. you move them the time frame doesn't matter if you move them from that position all right and so it doesn't matter too that we intend to release him at some point we just want to rough him up a bit and let him know you know quit running your mouth no. around me no i i would i would have to recommend you get you know, go online and read the IC code for the stat statutes on that. Okay. Uh, you know, because, you know, I don't want to tell you what I would do because the call is not actually there. You know, so there's there's no need, you know, for me to speculate. You no, know, because yeah. I, yeah. you know, because that, I'm sure you know that's wrong too. You know, an officer can't speculate or at least he shouldn't. Yeah. You know. I'm I, sure I you've been. In the, I'm sure you've been in the situation before, though, where somebody's just running their mouth, and you're like, "Man, I just want to kidnap this dude and throw him in a dungeon." You know what I mean? No, not that. You know, I I don't I don't think like that. It, you know, I guess I I'm probably everything. just a sick psychopath then, maybe just for having thoughts like that. Possibly, you think I should see a doctor about it, or? I think I would recommend it. Okay. All right. Um, I'm in Texas now. What kind of doctor? Are you oh, thinking? you're you're in Texas now. I am right at the moment. Yeah, I, like I said, we we come up there all the time, though. And... Okay. Well, you know, I unfortunately gotta let you go. Okay. You know, I I enjoy talking to you and everything, but I gotta let you know I I've, I've gotta actually work. You know, if this was an actual you know case that's happening or something, you know, I, I would. I'll be going to it, but being as I'm speaking with you, I'm not having any other call, any emergency calls coming in. No, no, no. Well, I think you've done some good today, because had I not spoken to you, I might have thought it was okay to drag someone to a dungeon for saying things I don't like. So, you know, I think Say, you've done a lot of good today. You, hopefully, you don't, you don't act on that. No, 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 no. And I, I think I'm going to call a doctor because like, you know, like we said, you know, I, I think that these type of thoughts where, you know, one thinks that it's okay to drag someone to a dungeon for, 
you know, saying things they don't like. I think that they are probably pretty psychopathic. So I am going to contact a doctor about these these thoughts that I, I've had yeah. previously. I, I don't. I, are you seriously thinking that way? Well, I mean, I at the time I was curious if it was right or wrong, you know. I mean, I just don't understand. I mean, you know. Um, some, I don't know if morality is dictated by legislation or if it's dictated by police or if it's dictated by politicians or, you know, what I feel like at the moment. Um, you know, I just thought that, uh, you know, I, I've seen some people just beat the shit out of other people for words and, you know, I'm just and, trying to and... figure out what's right and wrong, you know? <laughs> All right. Well, sir, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Okay. So I can, you know, and just in case there is an emergency absolutely you know where i can help somebody absolutely well thank you so much for your insight sir all right you have a nice day all right you too all right bye-bye bye Bye. what's wrong for one person is wrong for everyone and like the cop we heard on the phone say these cops should be criminally charged for kidnapping assault and battery the officer also articulated that anyone who's having thoughts that this type of behavior might be okay should probably see a doctor immediately. We do not have the names of the attacking officers at this time, but contact information for the department is in the description and the pinned comment below. The victim was held in captivity for 48 hours before being released with the charge of disorderly conduct.